Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Capricorn? How's everyone doing? This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. Welcome to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever you come across this channel. Hope everyone is staying safe. To all of my subscribers, my new subscribers, thank you so much for your beautiful comments, your likes and sharing, and having patience with me over these last couple of weeks, two to three weeks. When I wasn't feeling good. Thank you so much. So let's get started, Capricorn. Let's see where your energy is at. I'm pulling three or four different cards for you in your energy, and then we'll start with your reading. <coughs> okay. So, Spirit, this is for Capricorn. What is the energy that Capricorn is in right now? Let's see the energy. All right, a lot of your healing. Maybe a lot of you healing. You're happy. Spirit, what is the energy for Capricorn? Energy for Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. Angel of balance. Capricorn, a lot of you are, are balanced in your life right now. That's a beautiful thing as well. Angel of balance. The angels are with you, helping you to balance out, the, helping you to balance out your life, you know, to figure it out. If you're, you, you know... If you're wondering, at one point in time, you might have been stuck with that. And now things are beginning to, you know, your mind, the way you're thinking is beginning to become a little more clear to you. I feel like that's the angels that are helping you to balance your life, your thought process, your way of doing things different now. Yeah, yeah. The angels has a lot to do with that. You see those colors in there? I just draw to color. Color to me is happiness. OK, so, yeah, angel of balance. OK, let's see what's going else going on with you, Capricorn spirit. This is for Capricorn. What is the energy, the energy for Capricorn? What's the energy with Capricorn? Thank you, spirit. The energy with Capricorn energy. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like um, a lot of you are in bed right now. Maybe are you sick, not feeling good, you're staying in bed. Um, I feel like a lot of you are really, um, something's wrong, How's your health, okay? Uh, some of you could just be relaxing, but you could be sick in bed. You could be not feeling good, Capricorn, okay? That's what the energy I'm pulling as well. Spirit, what's the energy for Capricorn? Energy for Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So, yeah, um, I feel like some of you are in a marriage. You're, you're in a marriage. You're trying to balance things out. Or maybe um, the situation involves marriage. Uh, you're in bed. You're trying to balance, you know, in your mind, you're trying to balance a lot of things out. Uh, maybe you're trying to figure some things out. Or maybe some of you are married to someone that is maybe the sick that you're taking care of. Um, you're married. You know, this person, is, you know, is bound to bed. You're trying to balance your life out with trying to maybe t possibly take care of your person. Um, something like that. Or your person's trying to balance and take. Um, there's some type of balance that... Um, the angels is trying to help you with in your in your thought process. Um, I feel like someone's taking care of their husband or someone's taking care of their wife. OK. Um, um, and um, that's the energy that I'm getting right now. OK. Capricorn. All right. Let's get a little bit more energy. Let's see what else. I really feel like you're just trying to figure it out, okay? Maybe this is something that just has happened and you're trying to figure out how to balance your life, maybe work, maybe take care of the kids and you have to take care of your husband or you have to take care of your wife. You may have to do something that you never thought you have had to do and um, you're learning how to balance things. But Spirit wants you to know that the angels are with you, Capricorn. Angels are with you to help you balance out whatever has happened to your significant other, to your husband, to your girlfriend, to your boyfriend, whatever has happened. The angels are around you. Yeah, you're definitely stressed out. 
I have the energy that you're stressed out, Capricorn, about this situation because I feel like this is something that you never expected that maybe has happened or you never thought that you would be in this situation where you had to, uh, so much would be on you, okay? Yeah, definitely, I definitely uh, see stressed out, yeah, definitely vulnerable. You're very, very um, weak in your life right now. Uh, Capricorn. Uh, you're very vulnerable, okay? Um, and you're stressed out and vulnerable, you know? Um, this is taking a toll on you. Something has happened to someone, okay? Yeah. If this is you under the sound of my voice, this is you, you're stressed out because you can't do what you once could do for the, for the, for the marriage, all right, um, or you're stressed out because you're learning how you got to take care of this person. When I see staying in bed, I feel as though that someone is taking care of someone. Is this someone taking care of you or are you taking care of someone, Capricorn? Okay. Uh, I get, um, yeah, I get you are very stressed out over um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person that you could be taken care of, okay? But, you know, that's what uh, vows are. Everybody have to remember, you know, we all want to be together through the good times. But the bad times is what's going to determine your strength for one another. Okay? Um, I feel as though you were married to this person for a very long time, Capricorn. Uh, Y'all were young, okay? And... Um, I, I get the I get the also the feeling where um, some of you was always the breadwinner, breadwinner always took care of the family, and now you're disabled. Now you can't, okay. And you're trying to balance things, or your partner was used to take care of the family. Now they can't, and now you have to step in. You have to step up, Capricorn, and you have to take care of this your your partner, your person in your life. All right, so let's see what your message is, um, Capricorn Spirit. What is the message? What is the message for Capricorn? Spirit, what's the message for Capricorn? Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what's the message for Capricorn? Ooh, okay, Spirit's telling me that's enough, okay. All right, let's see what's going on, Capricorn, with your message, okay? Wow. <sighs> Capricorn, are you having to take care of your ex-husband? Oh my God! Are you going? To, are you taking care of someone? You're taking care of your ex person that you have not talked to in a while. That you have to come in and balance something happened to them, aka just showed up in your reading. This is someone that you may have been separated for, from for years, or divorced for years. That. Either you have to take care of them or they're gonna have or they taking care of you. But I feel like Capricorn Aquarius just came into my spirit. I feel like you'd have to take care of your ex-husband or your ex-wife. They're in bed, they're bedridden. You have you you have to learn how to balance this thing, balance this situation. Because I feel like you feel guilty because you were married to this person, even though that you're not with this person anymore. You know that y'all don't, y'all not, y'all may not even be married, but that was once someone that you loved. And I feel like it's stressing you out. It's, it's stressing you out because, you know, you, you're going to have to learn how to figure it out because, um, I feel as though that this person, even though y'all are not, not married anymore or, you know, or in separation, you know, but I feel like if, if it would have happened to you, they would have done the same thing. That's the spirit that I'm getting from the spirit. Um, and this is causing you, Capricorn, um, you, you know, 
you, you're going to have to do some readjustments. And it's definitely stressing you out. It's stressing you out. And your, your ex-husband or ex-wife just came into the reading. Okay? Their energy is here. Yeah, it's weighing on you very heavy. Yeah, it's weighing on you very heavy. It's, it's like you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. You understand what I'm saying, Capricorn? But I feel like you feel like, um, or your person feel like, you know, that you're obligated to do this because this person is still your husband or still your wife, even though y'all haven't got a divorce, um, or you may have gotten a divorce and you just don't want to see anything happen to your person. Okay, but well, AKA showed up in the reading. This is your, to me, I intuitively see that this is your ex-wife or ex-husband that you're going, you, that you're learning how, uh, that you're going to have to learn how to find some balance um, in uh, this person being in your life, uh, taking care of this person, um, or your your ex-person you know, reverse the roles, how they fit in your life, has to come into your life and take care of you, Capricorn. But I definitely see a lot of stress, a lot of burdens weighing down because of this. Your person, someone got hurt and they're bedridden. And they're probably in the bed or they're sick and they're bedridden. Something, they're in bed. Yeah. Yeah, you was once married to this person. See that? You were you're no longer married to him, but you feel like you feel as though that it's the right thing to do. Because even though y'all didn't y'all are divorced now, um you, you know, and but that it was still some good in your ex-wife or ex-husband that they did do some good. And, you know, if something would have happened to you or have the, you know, the tables turn, that they would do the same thing for you. So that's that bond that you have when you have been married to someone so long and you're not with them. And so it's really stressing you out because you're trying to find some type of balance. You're trying, to, you're trying to find some type of balance and, you know, fitting your, your ex-husband, your ex-wife into your life, uh, into your own life. So I, I really get the energy that this happened unexpectedly. And maybe your person, your ex-wife or husband, you know, don't have no one to count on. And this like it almost hits you like a bombshell. That's what I'm getting, Capricorn. Spirit, tell me more about Capricorn's energy. Spirit, tell me more about Capricorn's, I'm sorry, message. Yeah. I feel as though that you, Capricorn, could be overindulging, drinking, trying to figure this out. Um, I feel as though that you are... Uh, I feel like your your ex-wife or ex-husband just wanting some attention. You know, they you know, even though something has happened to them, but they just needing attention, needing validation, okay? Um really needy. Okay, this person um you know, even though they're sick or something happened to them, but they constantly want you there. They constantly maybe calling you, constantly maybe telling you, please come over, I need you, can you, whatever the situation. And you're drinking right now. Some of you are drinking, some of you are whatever. You're overindulging in something. This is someone that you had an unhealthy um, a relationship with. Okay, maybe when you was married to this person, they was over drinking, doing drugs and everything. Now something has happened to the, this person. You, they, you have to be the one they can count on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, MG, you have to be the one they, can, they have to count on now. Okay, thank you, Spirit. I feel like when you were married to this person, they, 
they um, help you get through some type of addiction, some type of overindulging alcohol or whatever. They were there for you and your marriage. Okay, now that y'all are no longer together, something has happened to your ex-wife, ex-husband, and now you just, you know, you feel like you're obligated or you feel guilty because this person was with you when you went, was in a dark place in your life. That's what it is. And now something has happened to them or has happened to you, Capricorn, and it is stressing you out because you're trying to find balance in your life because this happened uh, unexpectedly. Spirit, tell me more about Capricorn's message. Capricorn's message. Capricorn's message, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you, 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 um, you are trying, you want to express to them that you don't want no new beginning. You don't want, you don't want no new beginning. I'm just here to help you as any way I can because you're sick, you're in bed, you're bedridden, something's happened to you, but you're making it very clear. That means Page of Cups expressing your emotions that you don't want no new beginning. I'm just doing this because you were there for me in a dark place in my life and I'm returning the favor. Okay, so yeah, you're definitely guarded off. You're protecting your heart from this person. Okay, so that's what it is. That's what it is. Spirit, any other message for Capricorn? Thank you. Yeah, this person may be trying to manipulate you in some kind of way. You had the magician that came out in the reverse. So you telling you, you straight up tell them, say, listen, this is you expressing yourself. Listen, there's there, this is not going anywhere. I don't want no new beginning with you. I'm here for you because you were there for me in a dark place in my life. You were there for me when I, we were married. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help balance things, you know, and everything. But you got to make that very clear, Capricorn. Okay. Or else this person is going to manipulate you back into his or her life. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> this person is going to manipulate you back into their life for a second chance. So you have to be very upfront, clear about, listen, I'm here to help you if you need me, you know. I know you're sick. I know things has happened for you, but this doesn't mean that we're getting back together. So that's what it is. This person is going to use this, this person, your person is going to use this situation to benefit from it. But you have to make yourself very clear to them. You understand? That's just like, you know, like I say, you, you know, you definitely, it's an ex. It's someone you haven't dealt with in years. Okay. It's definitely an ex, but you know, you're in a point in time in your life. Maybe you don't have nobody in your life right now, but at the same time, okay, I can try to balance things out. I can try to help my ex-wife, my ex-husband in any way I can, but that doesn't mean that I want you back. So their way of doing this, like they're going to manipulate you. And try to come back for a second chance to try to make this work for a second chance, a.k.a. it's going to do that. But you're very defensive and I, I see you expressing yourself that, no, I don't want to take a new leap of faith with you. I don't want a new beginning. I'm just here to help you uh, to get through this process and then I will be out of your life again. You know, I just feel like I owe this to you because you was there for me when I was going through my drug addiction or my my alcohol addiction. And I feel like I owe this back to you. That's why I feel like you're doing this out of out of um, because this person was there for you. You feel like you uh, have to be there for your person. Mm hmm. Spirit, any other message for Capricorn? Any other message for Capricorn? And that's how it is sometimes. That's how it is sometimes, you know. But you have to make it clear. If you don't make it clear, they're going to think, you know, yeah, just, just, just listen to your intuition. 
Just that gut feeling when you know and you see that they they trying to mm, swindle their way back and not really, you know, no, no, don't, you know, I feel like a lot of you are very intuitive. You're very spiritual. You listen to your, your gut and you know you don't want this person back, but you have to make it clear for them. Okay, Capricorn, this has been your reading. Until next time.